If you operate any type of hospitality property, you should know your number one priority for success is offering a great guest experience. Here are some of the basics to help reach this goal, along with some wonderful examples. Welcome to another edition of Hospitality Property School. I am your instructor, Jerry McPherson. If you haven't subscribed yet, do it now and make sure to hit the little bell so you'll be informed when I upload a new video. You won't want to miss anything I designed especially for you. If you operate any type of hospitality property, you should know your number one priority for success is great customer service. Great customer service is an essential aspect of the hospitality industry. The level of service you offer can make or break your hotel, resort, inn, or bed and breakfast. So it is imperative that you fine tune your policies until you hit near perfection. If you don't, you will lose potential and repeat guests. Social media raises the stakes for customer service. In the old days, if a guest or a customer was happy with your service, they would tell three people. If not, they would tell 11 people. Today, with the advent of social media, if someone is not happy with any aspect of your service, within days, tens or even hundreds of thousands could see it on their timeline. Hospitality property owners and managers need to instill best practices for their employees to follow. By understanding the following best practices, you and your employees will ensure your customer service reaches a standard that is not only acceptable to the general public, but will also confirm your status as a quality establishment. Begin with a warm welcome. First impressions are everything. The first step you need to master and to teach your employees is the appropriate customer greeting. This will be your guests first face-to-face -face contact and could set the tone for their overall experience. A good welcome needs to be warm, polite and informed but not fake. If the greeting is overbearing or suffocating, it could make your guests feel uncomfortable. It is really important to find a healthy balance so your guests walk away from the check-in more content and happier than when they arrived. In a past episode, I talked about the importance of hiring the right staff. If you would like to refresh your mind, then visit How to Interview for Great Employees. Keep your employees happy. I have seen way too often hospitality property owners and managers focus on the little things and disregard their staff. A guest can determine if your staff are not happy, and this will often reflect on their desire to return. By keeping your staff happy, it will help generate a better atmosphere, make them feel more at ease and at home, thereby giving them a better experience. Ways this can be accomplished is by ongoing training, rewarding great work, and empowering your staff to make frontline decisions. Surpass your guests' wants and expectations. We all know that the hospitality industry can be very competitive, and by meeting your guests' needs is not always enough. In order to stay ahead of your competition, you must strive to give your guests the wow factor. You must exceed their expectations with the little touches that will elevate you to a higher level of customer service. Constantly take feedback. A hospitality property that is willing to accept feedback and criticism and then use these remarks to improve is definitely serious about maintaining great customer service satisfaction. For this to work, you have to make available ways for your guests to speak to you either through online reviews surveys or questionnaires. You need to be able to look at any criticism objectively and willing to implement changes as necessary. Conclude your guest stay with a warm send-off. All good things must come to an end. That is the way your guests should be thinking when it comes to leaving. And what better way to say goodbye than with a fond farewell? A sincere goodbye will last in the minds of your departing guests and if it's done right, will only leave a positive impression of your property. Use your guest's name, offer your hand, and treat them as you would family if they were leaving. Undoubtedly, 
customer service is of fundamental importance to the hospitality industry and should be specifically to your hospitality property. The level of service your guests receive could make or break your business and cannot be ignored. Next, I'm going to share a few stories of great customer service from a number of different sources, including one of my own. Now, the first story I'm going to tell is my own, and it took place at the Auberge Giselle's Inn. In my past life, I had spent many years on the road as a tour director with some of the largest tour operators in the world. A number of years back, I was leading a tour group through New England and Eastern Canada. This particular year, I had done this trip many times in a row, and when I had arrived at one of my most favorite destinations, a Burj Giselle's Inn on Cape Breton Island, Nova Scotia, I was not feeling 100%. The owner, Helen, saw immediately that I was not up to par and told me to go lie down while my group's luggage was being delivered to the rooms. She then told me that I was not expected down for dinner that night, but instead, at 6 p.m., soup would be brought to my room. At 8 p.m., there would be a light knock on the door, and if I was awake, a hot toddy, which is a warm whiskey, would be there for me. If I did not answer the door, they would know I was asleep and would not disturb me. I slept for 12 hours. The next morning, I woke up feeling like a million dollars. My headache was gone, I was full of energy, and I had my appetite back. Now, I had known Helen for many years and have seen her offer this type of service over and over again without giving it a second thought. To me, in that case, though, it meant the world. And this is a story I've been very pleased to share for many years since. This next story, called the Fairmont Hotels, I will read as it was told by Dina Yuan, or better known as the Asian Fusion Girl. How should we react when an entire hotel staff greets us by name? And that's when not all of them have met us face to face. With a smile and rushes to stand to the side to let us walk through first. Well, at Fairmont Hotels, this kind of treatment is natural and normal, so get used to it. At Fairmont San Francisco, I was flabbergasted to find out that many of the staff members had been with the hotel longer than I have been alive, and that's over 30 years. When the executive management team is on a friendly first-name basis with every staff member, all the way to waiters, busboys, and housekeeping, you know they're doing it right, and that translates to an overall exceptional experience for guests. At Fairmont, Singapore, staff members remember you by name and face upon returning just after one stay. It seems as if Fairmont has cornered the market on hiring people with photographic memory. Every single time I'm at Fairmont, I'm made to feel like royalty without any stiffness or pretentiousness. And that is just priceless. The next group of stories were compiled by Joshua McKenzie. 3. Service Personalization with Facebook Feedback at the Ritz-Carlton Naples The Ritz-Carlton Resorts of Naples asked Facebook fans how they liked their coffee. If you've answered and then stayed with them, your coffee would arrive perfectly sugared without having to ask. It's a little detail that if you use your imagination can be used in other ways. 4. Social Media Increases Loyalty at Accor According to Nancy Trios of USA Today, Accor Hotels try something cool at its Sofitel and Novotel properties in Philadelphia, Chicago, New York, and Washington, D.C. Identifying loyalty members checking into the hotel that month and then checking social media profiles to identify the guests' interests, a gift was selected to take the guests' recognition to the next level, to a more powerful level. Some examples... For guests who like fishing, an eco-friendly fishing trip in the San Diego Bay. For guests who like luxury cars, a certificate to drive a Ferrari and a Lamborghini. For guests who like lounging in spas, a day at the Hella Spa in Washington, D.C., plus an overnight stay at the Sofitel. And for guests who like sports, VIP tickets to a hockey game between the San Jose Sharks and the Red Wings. What do you think so far? 
Let me know in the comments. 5. Sleep Menu at the Conrad Chicago A number of hotels offer pillow menus, but the Conrad Chicago takes it to another level, offering a full pillow menu, herbal sleep elixirs, and nightcaps, sleep chocolate, H2O hydrating treatments, thermal aqua masks, sleep sound machines, among other amenities. They have even created a separate website, conradchicagosleepmenu.com. 6. Concierge videos from the Intercontinental Hotels Back in 2007, Intercontinental Hotels began creating videos featuring hotel concierges offering destination advice. Intercontinental has also tested providing concierge service through live video chat on Skype or Apple's FaceTime to provide a higher level of service through digital channels. 7. Scavenger Hunt Contest at Paloma San Diego Helping their guests explore the city of San Diego, the Paloma, a Kempton hotel, created a scavenger hunt that has doubled as a social media contest. Participants use clues provided through the scavenger hunt with Friends mobile application and then took and shared photos as they found the items. We think it's a perfect way for participants to have fun and experience the nooks and crannies of San Diego while having a chance of winning some great prizes. We see it as a creative take on our Live Like a Local program, which provides guests an authentic local San Diego experience, said Mark Van Cooney, general manager of the Hotel Palomar San Diego. And eight, free mountaintop photos for Facebook at Vail Resorts. Every winter sports fan wants a photo from the top of the mountain, and professional photographers have exploited this for years, charging exorbitant rates. Vail Resorts offered an alternative, taking mountaintop photos that were free to post on Facebook and Twitter. It's a powerful way to serve your guests and increase your brand's visibility at the same time. Now, as you can tell from these examples, you don't have to break the bank or hurt your back bending over backwards to fulfill some of these services. Common courtesy, common sense, and the appreciation for a job well done will quite often be enough to put you ahead of your competition. In conclusion, when we turn the corner with this pandemic, your guests will not only want, but will need an amazing experience at your property. Brainstorm ways you can not only astound your guests, but have them rave about their stay with you. If you have any interesting stories about great customer service, leave them in the comments. Okay, you're going to have access to this post for six weeks, and then it's getting locked in the vault for the Hospitality Property School Group members only. When you see we have something new, check it out, read it, don't mark it as unread or file it away because you might miss your chance. To see all the other valuable material you would have access to as a member of the Hospitality Property School Group, check out the short video in the episode post's show notes. In the next episode, I will be talking about upselling. Well, that's it for today's episode. Until next time, have a fun day. P.S. Have you signed up for your insider tips? Make sure you do. You can find the link in the show notes.